Well, yeah, Jeffrey, go ahead. Let, let's be clear also about what's going on here. The theme here is I'm Donald, Donald Trump and I'll protect you from the scary black people. Antifa is widely perceived as an African-American organization, and this is just part of the same story of LeBron James and Don Lemon and Maxine Waters and the NFL players and the UCLA basketball players. Mm. This is about black versus white. This is about Donald Trump's appeal to racism, and it just happens all the time, and we never say it or we don't say it enough for what it is, but that's what's going on. Well, what do you think, Ron? Mm. Well, look, I, 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 I don't just but I would frame it more broadly. I mean, I think, you know, Trump basically uh, has portrayed himself from the beginning as kind of the last line of defense uh, for his supporters against all the forces uh, that he suggests are trying to take America away from them. And sometimes it is coastal elites like his attack on Google this morning. Uh, and sometimes uh, often uh, it is minority uh, leaders uh, like the, uh, the all the attacks that Jeffrey mentioned. The key, though, is and, and what and what he said to the event evangelical leaders really fits into this, I think, is that he is presenting himself in effect as a wartime president for red America. Only the war is largely against blue America. I mean, we've had presidents who've been accused of slighting voters outside of their base before Trump, I think really is the first one who actively kind of tries to demonize the voters and the, and the parts of the country outside of his base as a way of consolidating and mobilizing his own supporters. A division is essential. It is integral uh, to his entire strategy. And of course, the the price on that is it puts enormous pressure on the less partisan piece of the Republican coalition, mostly white collar suburbanites. And that is where they face the greatest risk this fall among the very voters who we were talking about before in the last segment, who kind of look at what's happening and say, this is just too much chaos for me. I want some more checks and balances. Go ahead, Jeffrey. I don't know, Ron. I'm thinking it's just black people and brown people. I think that's no. what it's about. And, you know, no. yours is a very sophisticated analysis. But I think it's just as ugly as it can be. And let's not forget, Donald Trump is became a politician by making up a racist lie about the first African-American president. But have you ever yeah. heard? Hey, look, it, it, it's, uh, it's a central part of it, Jeffrey, but it's not all yeah. of it. Because but do you remember, I mean, he does do you remember, also Jeff do the media. I was just going to say, Jeffrey, so you remember a time when a president warned of violence on the streets of his party loses? No. Beats me. I can't remember it.